Hi guys, I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Today we're going to talk about how to carry ammunition for your cap and ball revolver in the field. Okay, you've worked up a load, you've figured out what your gun likes. If you haven't, I suggest you stop right here, look up on YouTube and find there's tons of videos out there about how to load your gun, how to work up loads, etc. Look at a few of them, get out and experiment. Once you get done with that, come back and we'll keep going. Now, for range time or just going out with friends or whatever, driving the truck out to the shooting range, just carry, you can carry the loose stuff. I like to carry the ball, my caps, and my wonder wads in some sort of bag. Quick and handy, I got them in the same place. I'll lay them out in line. Your powder should be in a flask. And it should be labeled clearly what's in it. Now these flasks I can put in multiple kinds. So for example, in this one I have 4F, in this one I have Pyrodex. I go ahead and mark it with masking tape so I don't get things confused. Black powder is very forgiving, but you got to pay attention. Now, um, cappers like the Ted Cash cappers and things like that. I personally don't use one, but they're very fast and effective for camping on the range. The load stands that allow you to sit the gun up in this stand like this so that you can use both hands to load are very effective and very handy on the range. I wouldn't think it'd be a bad choice to have one. But now for field application, when I'm gonna be tromping out in the woods and everything else, that's when some of these accoutrements start getting a bit cumbersome. First, how many rounds do I really need to carry? If I'm actively hunting with this gun, rabbits or something, I'm gonna carry about 20 rounds. That's a big day shoot for me. If I've either got 20 rabbits or I've missed 20 times, it's time to go home either way. All right, I personally carry about 15 reloads. Five rounds in the gun, and then two full cylinder reloads. That's my loadout. And I have about 20 caps. I want a few extra caps. Sorry for the guys. I've got some weapons coming through. I've got some extra caps just in case I have a dud cap. I use a capper or I'll use a little tube, and I'll show you that in a second. Now, in the historic time period, during the Civil War, etc., a common way of carrying ammunition for these pistols was paper cartridges, paper or linen. And I'll show you one of these right now. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how I make, I make mine. Now, as good a time as any to also bring up. Well, I thought I was going to, but I'm not. Okay. This is a paper cartridge. A lead ball glued onto a tube of basically cigarette rolling paper filled with a pre-measured charge of 4F powder. My bullets I go ahead and treat with um, it's made by Lee the tumble lube stuff ad gummit. It'll come to me in a minute. I'll throw the name on here in a second. Uh, liquid Alux. That's it. Liquid Alux. Um, I do all the balls, give them a good coating, and it helps a lot with lubrication. Also, inside of the tube itself, I put two or three little um, beads of beeswax or soy wax as a lubricant that will burn and help keep fouling soft. These originals were dipped quite often into some sort of tallow or something, but I find this works just as good for my application. Hey there. Now, for actually carrying it in the field. This is how I carry it on my belt. This is a old pouch of some kind. And inside I carry a little tin. Now I can carry 10 reloads in that plus my little cappers. Now, let me show you the little cappers. See, there's my reloads. Now this was a great little idea that I picked up on YouTube. That's the tube out of your fishing uh, fish aquarium, you know, for the air or whatever. I cut it off, and a number 10 cap will stick on both ends of it. 
real well. Slide it on. That allows me to slide it on the nipple and cap it. And I can carry these as a capper in here. And I carry enough to cap everything. Now, carry this on my belt, and that makes life easy for me to retrieve and reload on the fly. Now, the other type, and the one I personally carried the longest, hello Elliot, this is my friend Elliot, if y'all say hi Elliot. This is a tube that you get from Dixie Gunworks. These are called reloading tubes. This one's 45 caliber, and they make them for rifles, pistols, shotguns, the whole nine yards, and they're well worth it. I've had these for years. Now, all it is is a vinyl tube that I poured black powder into, a pre-measured amount. In fact, I'll take it apart right quick and show you. Okay, I poured the powder in there. Then I've taken my ball, which I've also lubricated with liquid alox, put it up there and push it in with my finger. And then I take a Wonder Wad, correct caliber size, and just push it over the top like that. Now I've got an entire cartridge ready to go. That's a bullet? That's a whole bullet. Powder, bullet, and wad. Shoot my muzzleloader. Now all I have to do is carry my capper. The way that I carry this type is one of these little belt pouches. Now this is a Civil War musket cap pouch. And in it's where I put those tubes. And normally across right here I carry a little capper that allows me to carry about 15 caps. 10 reloads, 15 caps. Seems to be a theme with me. Now, with those two methods, I get around pretty well. I can carry on me in a small, not obtrusive, because I need room for my haversack, my knife, and etc. I've got my sidearm, and normally I carry my sidearm on my right side, and my reloads on my back left hip. So that, let's say I see a rabbit I want to harvest, pow, I'll then reload and be back, back top set to five. Put the holster gun and keep going. I reload before I holster. I can usually get by pretty well for a weekend or two with just that. As far as carrying the loose powder flask and all like that, only if I'm going to be out there for a week or more and I'm taking it simply to reload my tubes. And that's going to be at a base camp. I know guys that have made holsters to carry their flasks and their bullets and their wads and everything else, and you can do that if you want to. It just starts getting a little too cumbersome for me. Well, guys, I hope this gives you some ideas on how to carry it and how to shoot it. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to actually make some of the paper cartridges. And then on the final installment, we're going to show some tips and tricks for field use for the guys. Oh, a little tidbit. In the next video as well, I'll show you how to shoot shot cartridges out of this by you turning a 410 shotgun shell cup and the shot in one of these pistols into a 40, uh, the uh, 44 shot load that I use for snakes. I'll show you that in the next one. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.